Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel, Less Just Locations. I'm here with Mary and Calvin and they watched the channel and we ran into them on the street. What are the odds? So we wanted them to be in our video. And on top of that, it's their 10 year anniversary. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mary. Hi, my name is Calvin. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I caught, I, I slapped it. <laughs> that was good, that was really good. You really <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about this house. The house is located on 716 North Fuller Avenue. Uh, the house has four bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and is listed just for just... <laughs> no, that was good, yeah, over four just million. over four million dollars. Let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got that this. I got this. I got this. I got this. <laughs> We are at 716 North Fuller Avenue in Los Angeles, California. This property has four bedrooms, seven bathrooms, is over 5,000 square feet of living space, and is on a lot over 7,000 square feet. This property is listed at 4,325,000. We would love to thank Orr and Shai Brodsky at the Brodsky Group Compass for allowing us to tour their beautiful listing. This property is located next to some of Hollywood's famous landmarks, the Hollywood Sign and Griffith Observatory. A fun fact about Beverly Grove is the Improv, a local comedy club, opened up on Melrose in 1975. A young Jay Leno helped build the club and even painted the entire ceiling himself. Welcome to the front yard. You have a plaster wall and metal fence with an automatic gate to let your two cars in. You have some pour in place concrete here with some artificial grass that is also on your driveway. You have some shrubbery lining your walkway that have lights that can feature your plants and that can also feature your olive tree. You have real grass here, some mature ficus trees that are planted for some privacy, and a fixed window that looks into your office. And this house is a contemporary feel, and again, to keep it a little more warm, they added some IPE wood paneling. And the facade right here, it looks like terrazzo, however, it's just a tile design and two car garage with tinted black glass garage door. So let's go inside. So we just came through your triple tinted black glass front door. And I love this door because it felt very heavy and durable so the wind couldn't just blow it open. And on the first floor, we have 10 foot high ceilings, square recessed lighting throughout. We are on wide plank, white oak wood floors that are also throughout the property. And here is your two car garage shot, concrete bottom with another door that leads to the side yard. And to my right, we are going to come to the office or what could be your first bedroom. Here is your first bathroom. You have a floating corner vanity with a travertine countertop, soft closed drawers, they lacquer finish, custom cabinets and drawers throughout the house. And we have seen this sconce in one of our tours before. I like that sconce. And this tile, this is porcelain tile. It looks like terrazzo stone, it matches the facade of the house. However, it's just porcelain. And you have a rainfall shower head, regular handheld shower head. And then we are in your office. 
And your office has great light. It has a square fixed window where you can have a view of your front yard. And there's still a great amount of privacy here because of your olive tree. And there are other trees that are aligned on the street. So you still have that privacy. Great room for plants. Ran into that one. <laughs> you have recessed lighting in area. You can mount a TV or cover up those plugs with a piece of art. You have some taupe and gold soft closed cabinet space here. So as I mentioned, this could be another bedroom. You can stay in your office and we will come into your glass wine room. We are going to come through your pivot glass door into your wine room and you have racks that can fit 126 bottles of wine. However, it looks like you can fit a couple more racks. Above me on the ceiling, you have an area where you can fit a temperature control unit to store your wine without worrying about what temperature is in, it is inside. And I also love these pennant lights right here. I didn't notice that they were two different colors until I turned them on later in the day. So there, there's a good amount of uh, space in here. You can put maybe a little table, a chair, or even a plant because you still get the amount of sunlight from your windows in your dining area that reflects back into your wine room. So we will head out of the wine room into your powder room. Here we are in your powder room and you have this large slab of maroon colored marble, which I love. This is built into your nearly floor to ceiling additional slab of marble. You have a fixed rectangular window and a suspended pendant light. And I love how they designed this because yes, it is fixed and it also has a lot of space on the side. So you can put a plant, artwork, and I like the position of the sink. It's on the side and I also noticed this push to close drain which I thought was pretty cool. There are a few sinks and drains throughout the property that have that. You have a floating toilet and more additional taupe and gold colored space. Here we are in your dining area next to your glass wine room. And I love this little Sputnik light. I couldn't figure out how to turn it on earlier, <laughs> but I love it. It looks like you can fit even a slightly larger table here. Maybe put a little table, a small mini bar right here but this did have an abundant amount of light earlier and bounce from the fence. It's a little darker now. It's, we've been here pretty much all day. So you can add some plants, some artwork, and I love these aluminum large glass casement windows. You can open, them, open both of them and have a sort of an outdoor feeling. You get a great breeze. And we are now in your family area. So here we are in the family area. You have a linear contemporary electric fireplace that is multicolored. So if you flip the switches on the side, it changes different colors. TV or artwork mount above that. And you have recessed track lighting in addition to your recessed lighting. There is for you guys who play the shots game. <laughs> this property is wired for sound, so you have speakers throughout. And if you notice at the uh, floor and the ceiling, you have a revealed edge design, meaning it's not touching. It has sort of a floating feeling. And this is a very open floor plan, great lighting. It's a little darker now. As I've mentioned, we have been here for a while, so it's a little darker. And we are going to head into the backyard. Here we are in your IPE deck. And I love this deck because it opens up to your backyard. It has a very comfortable feeling. It's not like you have to go through a narrow passage to get, uh, to get to your backyard. We came through your very large sliding glass and aluminum Fleetwood pocket doors. And there's enough space to put a, uh, a fire pit here or maybe even some more chairs. To my left, we have more mature ficus trees for privacy. To my right, additional trees. And you have a very large area of artificial grass. Beautiful lounging chairs, I love those. Very simple, classy. And here we are at your open cabana. And I don't know if you can hear, but I have Melrose to my right, very lively spot, a very lively place to be. We are going to come up to your IPE wood steps onto your open cabana area. And this is the same tile that is on the facade of the house. It looks like stones. And above me, this area is wired for sound. So you can sit here and enjoy. You can actually install glass on these squares to keep that closed. So you have recessed lighting, speakers. And it, as you can see, you can fit an even larger table here. They just decided to keep it small, show you the space, add even maybe possibly a fire pit there or some more chairs. And what I imagine is leaving this glass open and adding either the classic white drapes, multicolored drapes, or maybe even a suspended chair. And this area right here, you have an area you can plug maybe a beverage fridge into, leave your barbecue area and put a corner spot here to set and place your food or leave it as a plant. 
And if you don't want to walk all the way inside, get it dirty, get your floors wet, here is a bathroom. You have granite countertop, floating, wood, uh, floating corner vanity, and the same tile that is on the facade of the house. So that was the backyard, and let's head back inside. So we finished up the backyard and we want to wait till evening to show you what it looked like and how beautiful the pool looked. So let's head from the backyard into your kitchen. And you have a very beautiful, large waterfall island. And behind your stools, it looks like you fit five stools. There's four here, but you have additional storage in your soft clothes cabinets. You have three slanted pendant lights above your island and a melee cooktop. And your cooktop matches your black melee appliances. You have a recessed coffee maker, your oven, and you have your microwave drawer. And on the other side, you have the matching marble counter and backsplash and your inconspicuous dishwasher. You also have additional cabinet space up here and more space up here. You can put some plants, some artwork. You have your fixed linear window that looked into your side yard earlier. It's a little dark now, but you had a beautiful view of your ficus trees, stainless steel sink, and you have four data and power modules where you can plug your phone in or any other appliances. You have your dark oak wood paneling for more storage space and your push to open fridge and freezers. So we will head downstairs. We are going to head down your solid white oak wood steps, floating staircase. This is also made of wood, your rail, and you have two beautiful chic sconces. Earlier, you can see the ample amount of light that came through, and as you can see, it's a wall-to-wall -wall fixed window. And here is the game room. And Safi and I played some air hockey earlier, and I won, naturally, so. Right? Round one, fight. That's a lie. I lost, okay, I lost. So we are going to head past your dungeon. No, I'm just kidding, this is a pump. But I was curious about it earlier, I didn't open it. And we are going to head past that into your sauna. This is a cedar sauna fin sauna. A good amount of space in here to sit. You have a Tylo heater, recessed lighting, and a speaker. We'll come from your sauna through your glass door past the game area, and there's a good amount of space here. It looks like if you were to straighten this out, you could put a foosball table, you can mount your TV here, or this could be a kid's study area. Seating area, where you can also put some artwork. You have some storage here, which you can actually see underneath the stairs, underneath your floating stairs. I like this chair, it's very unique. We will come into, oh, this is also storage. So storage, not that special into your first laundry area. We have some marble here. This was a fire escape ladder. So you have your safety, soft closed uh, cabinets, 
in the same tile design on the facade of the house. We will head over your wide plank, white oak wood floors into the bathroom of this floor. And you have a corner floating contemporary vanity travertine countertop with an undermount sink. And I love this staging figurine. I love how it added a little color because these are all pretty neutral tones. You have David Grappi lighting fixtures throughout the property and Fantini sink fixtures, which I love. That was pretty cool. Same push to plug sink and the same tile that is on the facade of the house throughout this entire bathroom. Rainfall shower head, recessed square lighting, and this bathroom is conveniently located next to your movie theater. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> so we're in your home theater. You have two sconces that remind me of lava lamps. You also have a cove ceiling, recessed square lighting and surround sound, speakers all on the ceiling and behind the couch. You have a 10 foot screen with a home projection system. You have zero windows, which is great for any light bleed, and you have carpet, which is great for noise bleed. And if I had a home theater, I would also have a cute popcorn maker. And I'm definitely the type of person who has a lot of, or puts a lot of butter and salt on my popcorn. And what about you, Safi? What do you do? What do you do? Say it louder. Hot sauce. <laughs> he, he does put hot sauce on everything. So as I mentioned, you have speakers behind your couch and I want to point out these great staging chairs. I don't, I did not ask if they came with the house. However, they are perfect to have in your home theater. If you have uh, guests you want to have a conversation with or just spin around, spin around town. So we are going to head into your workout room. And this is, you know, your workout room. It could be staged as, or sorry, it's staged as a workout room. However, it could even possibly be a spa room or another bedroom. Legally, it can't be a bedroom because it doesn't have a window, but I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna say anything. Uh, safety hazard, I will say that, that's a disclosure. <laughs> you can mount your TV right here, or you can put another piece of artwork. And I love this staging tip, how they've added this mirror in this corner which could, if you didn't have the mirror here, you could also add shelves, put bands, something like that. And this painting was pretty, uh, pretty comical to me. You have some tigers swimming right here. It looks like they're in Palm Springs, that mid-century modern style house. Love how they displayed artwork. You could put another mirror, just because, you know, there's a lot of mirrors and gems. I don't know how many mirrors you really do need. And we will head back to the upstairs. You have a very large, two very large fixed floor to ceiling, wall to wall, frosted glass windows right here. That still adds some privacy, but let in light earlier in the day. And here we are on the floor with the remainder of the bedrooms. So here we are in one of the bedrooms. Each bedroom has their own private balcony. And on the balcony, you have the same tile flooring that's on the facade of the house. You have the IPE wood paneling on the veranda with recessed lighting and a plaster and metal uh, wall and railing. <laughs> so we are going to come through your glass and aluminum sliding glass doors. And you have this very large fixed window view to the front yard. You can throw some curtain drapes, uh, shades to add some privacy. You also have this very unique art piece right here on the wall, which I love. A little creepy, but kind of cool. You can leave your artwork here, mount your TV, and what I envisioned to the wall to my left, I like how they left it blank, so it kind of left to your own imagination, is to put a huge piece of artwork there or a mirror so you have that nice backlight that's from your balcony area. And each room has a custom closet and is also an ensuite. In this ensuite, you have the same corner vanity with the travertine countertop circular mirror and a full tub with a rainfall shower head. You set sliding and we will head to the other bedroom. We will head into the larger bedroom of the two. And I love this chair, I think it's cute. Great staging option. Uh, staging is by Harlow Interiors. And Safi and I had different opinions about this desk, however, I liked it. But he did point out, he made a good point, saying that you could put an even larger desk here or your entertainment system. Mount your TV right there. You have your large sliding glass door. 
that leads to your private balcony and on this balcony or both the balconies they have a view of each other a view of the front yard there is ample amounts of sunlight earlier and you have more floor to ceiling taupe and gold storage space this is an ensuite and you have these same travertine countertop with the floating vanity larger ensuite love the tile design rainfall shower head with your regular handheld shower head and we're going to head, we are almost to the primary, but I want to point out this section. This is another little, even more private balcony. You could put your plants here or just come hang out here for, you know, maybe a glass of wine with your significant other friends. And there are vents on these doors because this is a second laundry area. So if you don't want to walk all the way downstairs, you can put your washer, another washer and dryer right here. And on this floor, second floor, you have nine foot ceilings. And we are now in your primary bedroom. And your primary suite has sliding glass pocket doors that lead to your private balcony that has a view of your pool and your backyard. You have more track lighting and speakers on the ceiling. And the same wide white oak floors. I also love this wall. This wall is pretty much all marble and I love the neutral color marble. You have your TV mount and your linear contemporary fireplace. You also have your built in walnut wood shelves that match your walk-in closet. Your walk-in closet is nearly all wood with floating shelves and strip lighting. From here, we will head into your primary bathroom. You have the same tile that is throughout the, uh, the rest of the bathrooms. You have a private frosted glass area for your toilet and your glass shower with bench seating and multiple shampoo niches, which I loved. You also have rainfall shower head, a regular shower head. And I loved this tub because I have not seen uh, a tub design where they decided to utilize some of it for space. Oh, that was very unique. I liked that a lot. And you also have a sliding glass window that looks into your backyard. You have two suspended pendant lights by Lambert and Phil's over your ceramic vessel sinks that are by Cocoon. Large mirror that really opens up this bathroom. The same marble that matches your fireplace. So it keeps it very uh, earthy, very neutral in here. And the same walnut cabinetry floating vanity and let's head into up to the rooftop deck for the last part of the tour nearly this entire wall is glass because there are windows on every floor so let's in more sunlight and you still have that privacy because it's facing your stairs i also like this section right here because you can put some plants or artwork so you have the lighting bouncing off onto your plants and displaying your art here we are on your rooftop deck. Safi will roll some uh, daytime B-roll shots for you, but we wanted to also show you what it looked like at night. So you can come up here, enjoy yourself, take your shoes off because you have artificial grass. So you can relax your feet. You can come lay out here. You have a view of Melrose right over to my right, and you have nearly a 360 degree view of the city. You can even see the Hollywood sign over a little bit by the fire pit. And as I mentioned, you have a fire pit here. You can add another table. You can add a foosball table. You can mount your TV as well. And they have a circular table here. However, you can put an even larger table. Come up here, enjoy dinner, enjoy the fireworks, and just enjoy the view. Thank you for watching. I'm Sierra Schatz with Lustrous Locations, and we really appreciate the support you have been showing so far. If you are interested in any of the camera equipment that Safi uses, you can find it below in the link in the description. If you are also interested in buying, selling, investing in real estate, you can contact me below my link in the description. If you're feeling generous, we appreciate any likes or subscribes. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section. And again, we thank you so much for everything, and we are excited to show you what we have next.